Welcome to Attican Plays Railroad Tycoon 2 Platinum. All right. Hi, this is Attican, and welcome to Series 1, Episode 12, Part B of our playthrough of the Railroad Tycoon 2 Classic Campaign. We got off to a really good start, I thought. Um, we set up these little uh, three-city uh, local service uh, uh, passenger mail lines running running inexpensive uh, electric trains um, because they're short lines, so you don't get a ton of degradation. You don't need a ton of speed, but speed is nice. We uh, upgraded our stations fully so that we're maximizing our revenue potential out of this. Running them half full so we don't have to micromanage. That went well. We started here. Then we did one here. Then we moved out into Germany. Bought the rights to go into Germany. Got Berlin, Hamburg, Bremen. Later we added Hanover. Then we switched over to Berlin to Frankfurt and made this three cities a little uh, localized service cluster. One here. Then we finally moved out to the big boys. We moved all the way out to St. Petersburg in Russia by getting access to um, the Russian Federation, Latvia, and Lithuania, and uh, ran line all the way out to St. Petersburg because they wanted us to hire, to haul uranium to this power plant in uh, Warsaw. And has somebody bought this? This hasn't been purchased. Nuclear power plants are good money makers. We could consider, eh, crap, let's buy it before somebody else does. And the other ones, these guys out here, they're both making money too. We might buy those. We might even buy this landfill. See, it's lucrative already. We're going to buy that too. Uh, we're going we're to buy this little chain. Since we've got this chain running, we may as well own it. So let's, um, let's, sit, let's just see where we are. I need a little review too. We're up to um, 13 million in stock. Our cash is negative, but our buying power is tremendous because we keep growing. We keep growing and and uh, growing and growing the stock. And we've been very lucky. Um, no other investors have touched us. If you look, the other investors haven't touched each other very much. And I think it's because they're struggling a little bit. I don't think anybody's doing great. So they're not making any money personally. Let's just see where we stand. We're at $9 million. Uh, Atley's at 2.8. You notice he had the better company. Nehru, who's usually a very aggressive investor, doesn't have much. John Forrest is, has really done it out this time. Let's see what Nehru... Now, Nehru likes to try to get all of his own stock and then pay himself large dividends. That's his, that's his thing. And he would be a good person for us to invest in if we wanted to buy some of his stock, but I want to keep going with ours because uh, it's just, it's the best. I mean, we just got the best company. That's our job to have the best company. In fact, let's just buy, we're buying on margin. Let's just buy some more. Notice how it went up. That's good. Our, okay. And we can think about starting to pay ourselves doing this. 2005, we've got 15 years to hit our goal. And we've got two other goals, which is to connect all the way down here to Istanbul, which is going to take some access rights depending on how we want to get there. We've got to get over here to Venice, which is where one of our competitors is. But we could run something. See, we haven't even touched Munich yet, which is a great city on this map. We could run over and do a... We could use Munich as a big long line or whatever. And then we've got to get to Aalborg, uh, Denmark. But those are... I mean, we could just throw track down at the end if we wanted to for that. Uh, provided we got money going for everything else. So, um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I I, th I think we could consider doing buying back some stock. That would make our portion of of the company that we own bigger and bigger without even spending our own money. And I think we can afford to do that for a year or two. Should be able to. Shoot, we'll just buy a little bit more. And see, we've got a majority share now, so but um, uh, the other thing that buying the stock it's a little dangerous, it artificially bumps up your price because you're ba you basically you're paying a premium to the people who own the stock to buy it, buy them out. And um, if I stop talking and just let this run, let's see what we could do about buying back. Let's let's do. Every time we get a million or so, let's buy back some stock. 
Well, that, there we go. I didn't take long, did it? Uh, buyback stock. We can buy 18,000 shares. Okay. Let's just have this be buyback, buyback here. Okay, and one more time. 17,000 shares. And let's just see what that does to us. Um, I'm not sure what it did. But we have 19 million in stock right now. If we can get rid of our... Uh, we're, we're in very good shape. Very good shape. Um, I don't want to buy it. The price is inflated right now. <laughs> uh... Uh, one more time before the year ends. Um, buyback stock, nine thousand shares, and let's let let the year end. So that was the year of buying back stock. Okay, they're highly excited about us, partially because we've been artificially inflating the price, but that's all right. Mayor and Nagelmachers. Let's just see what they're worth, but I think we're probably going to stick with our guy who's giving us um, uh, passenger revenue bonuses. Uh, where are we here? How do we rate? Yeah, yeah, we're absolutely lapping the competition. Our net worth is about 14 right now. Hmm. 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 Hmm, okay. Uh, notice our buying power is less. Our, eh, I think we need to go into... Eh, I think we this next year may have to be the year of the dividend. Just to make sure we don't have some kind of awful... Um, margin call kind of thing that would kill us after all this good work so uh, let's run this a little bit and when we get uh get a little more cash because we've got big expenses let's get about one and a half million and we're going to set a large uh dividend assuming we're making enough money to do that we should be Well, I tell you, well, I started to say it's holding pretty steady, but it then it dropped. Yeah, then it dropped a lot. There, okay. Let's do dividends. Um, let's do, a, do as high a dividend as it will allow us to do. And it'll probably adjust it back down on us. That's 2.5 million in dividends. And we own... Um, what portion of the stock? 400. We own about two thirds of it. So, yeah, that's going to that's going to make a nice payout for us if we can maintain that. Let's just let it run. See if we can pick up a dividend this year. I'm not sure when they're paid or if they're paid quarterly, like real world or typically are, or or how it's done. We got to keep the cash up in order to keep the dividend up. Okay, there, they just dropped it a little bit. Okay, I don't know if they paid us one or not. Let's slow this down, okay. Uh, yeah, see, we didn't do so great that year, but that's all right, that's all right. 394 personal. Our buying power is going down. Okay, we need to get back to get back on track. We need to build up our our um, our revenues again. We're allowing our stock to drop because we're not 
we're not keeping the pedal to the metal, and we need to. All right. So what can we do? What can we do? Uh, we've got all these cities down here running these little tiny routes, and any one of them could go out and run a big long route. Yeah. Uh, right now we've got Berlin to Moscow. We've got uh, Frankfurt to St. Petersburg. Uh, Munich to uh, something would be nice. Uh, Munich to some decent-sized city out here. Uh, Tula would be all right. Or, ooh, that would be nice. Vitsiepsk. <laughs> Four, five, six, six houses. That's not bad. Minsk. Minsk would be nice. I can even almost say that. We have to buy our way into um, Belarus. And then what would be involved? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, it's a shame. Our buddy here has gotten Munich. Look, look at Munich. It's a beautiful town. Um, shucks. Ah, shoot. Oh, man. Now I'm not sure what I want to do. Well, we won't do Munich. Uh, we'll do one of our cities. We'll take one of our cities and run them out somewhere like uh, Odessa, maybe. So let's, let's, get, let's get access to Belarus. Let's see what that would cost. Uh, territories Belarus would cost 1.5 million Ukraine would cost 882 oh, we could go right through the Ukraine and pick something there what's in Ukraine um, where is Ukraine there um, that's actually right there is a nice one Chernivsky. Uh, one, two, yeah, that's, that's a nice one right there. Uh, let's run, run it for a minute. Do we want to do this? Recent recoveries have made it possible a maglev locomotive that's made costs to make honest alterations except is two years. I, I, yeah, just to see what it is. I, don't, I honestly don't know what it is. Okay, they've dropped our dividend. Don't know if it helped us at all. Uh... Hmm. There, had some hit. Okay, let's go. Um, what if we did crack out to here? Oh, oh, oh. Um, well, that's Ukraine. What is this? This is Slovakia. Uh, let's just. Let's see if we need both of them. Um, Hungary, Slovakia, we're here. We just need Ukraine, really. Let's purchase rights to Ukraine. And let's run out of uh, Krakow. Oh, uh, wait. Since I loaded this, I gotta make sure it's Electric track, single, with good bridges. That's what we want. All right. And we'll go over here to this uh, this nice place right here. And we'll put in a large station. And I think, yeah, look at that. We can pick up a uranium mine if we want to. 
We're, nah, we don't want to. Uh, now, that's not a super long line. Let's just run one of our... Um, we don't need this this bad boy there. Let's just run our our nice little class E E111. They're lovely little tracks. Is there anything else down here? What's this? The Brenner, which is like <laughs> flies and costs the fortune. Let's run this guy right here. He's very nice. Okay. And he's going to run between here and here. Uh, and we'll do that while well, it's half full. A half full like that. Okay. And then on this line over here, we'll take crack out off that mix so that we're not pulling passengers from them. And go. Okay. Did we fix the station? No, we didn't. Roundhouse, all the customs, sanding, large hotel, can't afford it. Okay. And now we can afford it. And then we want to go make sure we've got customs on in Krakow, which I don't think we do. There we go. Okay, they're very pleased with us now, and they should be. Our stock is down. We could buy more, but I mean, the price is lower. 400, 600. Um, let's keep expanding. Let's keep, uh, let's just take this trip. Let's go to Odessa work our way down to Istanbul since that's one of our goals okay so we're gonna keep going down through here lost Odessa where are you Odessa there there's Odessa Okay. And I think we're going to take uh, this little short line here, loads to uh, Warsaw. Should be maybe this train. And we're going to have it go here to here. No, you know what? We're going to have it go uh, loads to Odessa like that. Are we? And shoot, we're going to want double track. At least to that station. 
which is how much money we have. Okay. St. Petersburg, no oil. Okay, did we fix, uh, did we put, I shoot, I meant to put a little station right here because that's a long line. Oh, there is one right here. It has oil and, um, okay, what's, what's going on here? They've got oil and uh, sand. How about um, Warsaw? They don't have oil. That's that's probably what's hurting us. Okay. And see, he's making good money. Pay, the payback is pretty fast and. And these guys are making a lot of money too, but I'd, I'd rather keep expanding the track at this point. Well, that's making money too. Okay. <laughs> There's money in nuclear waste. Who knew? Okay. Uh, hmm. I just keep running. Our price is down, well, it was split who knows how many times. Ah. Well, let's go ahead. I'd like to go ahead and get down here. Um, so we're down here to Odessa. And we're going to need to get through, um, we already have those rights. We could just sneak down through here and around the corner, but I think I'd rather go up here to Moldova and in Romania, Bulgaria, and Turkey. I'll try to remember those. Uh, territories... Moldova... Romania, six, eight, ah, about a million bucks will get us down there. Oh, we got that. Uh, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's go. Um, oh, sorry, uh, finances. Um, nope. <laughs> sorry, territories. Um, I did say Romania, didn't I? Yes. Romania, Bulgaria. Mold, Moldova. Where is it? Moldova. And Turkey. There we go. Now we got a nice clean path all the way down to Istanbul, not Constantinople. So let's just go Odessa to Istanbul and we'll put it back on single track and come down here I think kind of like like you know kind of not like that let's make some more money We're in a recession, so times are tough. We've got a lot of debt, that's not good. Uh, we're barely making money money. Our buddies are all losing money. We could sell some short if we wanted to gamble a little bit. 
I just want to see one thing here. If we put a... Yeah, we, we've got enough room to be connected, but barely. Our friend here is... Who's this? Tyrolean Express has taken up all the good room here. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, run, run, run. Go. Uh, you may now purchase the TBX Maglev with haulback arrays. You need to make sure your lines are electrified too. You just pay zero dollars so the track wouldn't rip apart and the cars you use can be refitted. I don't even know what that means. Except that the maglev... Whoa! Alright. Let's see what that is. The maglev. Cost a fortune. Cost a fortune to run. Instant acceleration. Above average reliability and goes very, very fast. Almost too fast. Be hard for me to think of a line we could set up where it would be that useful, honestly. Because you wouldn't uh, have uh, demand build up fast enough to be able to use it. Okay, they've cut our dividend again. Whoops. Don't blame them. Um, yeah, see, our, we're heading for trouble if we don't um, make some more money here and keep this stock up. Our buying power is dropping. Okay, dividends down to nothing, but that makes sense. We've gone negative with cash. We're in a recession. We're not making as much money on each of these trips right now. But there's some good money. There. We can work with that, I think. All right. So, single track electric good bridges. And then all the way down into Turkey like this, and maybe right down... Down like so, a large station it says it's connected. Okay, now it's not it's not picking up all the area, but it's picking up enough that we could use it. So let's go ahead and set it up. Custom sanding. Roundhouse, okay. And let's let's just um, gather a little money and we'll run a, one of our little kind of locals between Odessa and, and there. Or maybe, maybe um, Gooch and Mayer. Let's see whether they mean anything to us. Um, Uh, Gooch. Cheaper engines. That would be really nice. Mayor, cheaper track building and bridge building. He'd be nice too. Be good for expansion, which we're doing. 20% off of engines could save us a lot of money. We're not going to be spam. We're not going to be able to buy them that fast. So we're just going to stick with Philip Randolph, I think. All right, let's just do our little E-111 between Odessa and Istanbul. And this Chernovitsky 
Uh, we're missing sand. They have sand. Does Krakow have sand? No, they don't. Put a sanding tower and a roundhouse here. That's better. Okay. Uh, 1.4 million. <sighs> what does Denmark cost us? Okay, we have access to Denmark. Please with us. Uh, buying power is okay. We're all right, I think. One thing we could do is buy some more stock and drive the price up. <laughs> and um, And then we can go, um, let's set up a line between, um, let's go uh, into Gdansk here. It's the only city in Poland we haven't hooked up. Uh, let's see. I think a medium might get everything because we don't, we're not really looking for freight for the, for the port. Um, there, that gets everything. Roundhouse, sand, telephone bottles. Oh, we got lots of money. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And... I would actually like to have it on its own line out of the way of those fast trains. So let's just go like this. down like this and get us a, a small station to do it? Well, it might. Uh, it will. And here we'll put in sanding and then all the other stuff. Don't need a roundhouse. And we're going to run a line, another local line, so to speak, between here and here. Um, okay, we'll, yeah, we'll start there. Okay. Now, I see a, that Istanbul ran out of sand before it got there. Let's give it a... Ah, we can't. Sorry. Need money. Have money. Okay, let's, let's give it an intermediate just to make sure that doesn't happen again.
Okay, it's 2011. What's our worth? We're at 17. We're almost there. Oh, look at our purchasing power. Okay, there. That put us over the top. Uh, money. Our, we got our goal, and all we need to do actually is hook up um, Venice. I think we're done. All right. Um, let's go Switzerland. Go through Zurich and go that way. Since they messed us up on that. Let's go. Um, uh, let's buy rights to Switzerland and Italy. Italy and Switzerland. Yeah, we're just going to like that. Okay, let's come out of here. And through. Through Zurich. Down the other side. Get some more money. Ah. Okay, and Venice is a medium station. Looks like it'll do just fine. Actually, don't think it matters at this point because I think we're going to... There we go. Got Venice. What's our net worth? Oh, we're only at 17. What happened there? We were at 20 there for a minute. Oh, I'd like to. I'd like to finish in 2011, but I think we're going to finish in 2012. Yeah, they're very pleased. They increased our salary. Let's see what we can do about this. Now we're down to 16. What in the world? We got some cash. Set the biggest one we can get, which isn't much. We're gonna go right up to November, I think. Up to when, when it hits December. Oh, you know what though? If we're gonna build that line, we ought to at least use it. I uh, can't. I can't just leave it there. Um, I'm gonna put a small station in Zurich. And it's just gonna be uh, sand as you go over those mountains. Uh, let, let's do a line. Uh, Let's do a medium station in Nuremberg. And then we want to look at Venice. And and we want to deck it out too.
and we'll run one of our little trains. I didn't make as many big trains as I was really planning on, but that's all right. Nuremberg to Venice. And used all our money. Okay, <laughs> no dividend. Okay, let's buy back stock. We're at 18, it's November, right? There, there can't be any doubt about it. We've got 36 million. And we could almost buy out the whole thing. Um, and yeah, we're done now. Let's go uh, buy back stock. And let it run. They're excited about us. <laughs> Hail the Conqueror. Well, the tycoon at any rate. You've managed to bridge the market gaps with ease. Fine, fine job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's keep playing and just review. Um, this one, the way we did it, was just overwhelmed it with, honestly, I, forgive me, with good play by just, it, continually expanding and uh, if you keep expanding then you can buy stock on margin and if you can keep the stock going up because you keep expanding and keep making more money then uh, you won't have a problem with margin calls and stuff like that now if you start to fail in your duties to uh, grow the company and you can't maintain your stock price then you can have some serious problems in terms of um, um, margin calls and I, I mentioned way back at the beginning of uh, part A of this that there was another, another way to do this if you're a little more conservative you can just buy stock only when you can actually afford to buy it so you're buying it uh, without the, the loan. Buying it on margin means you're taking a loan to buy the stock and if the stock value falls uh, and you're um, purchasing power falls below zero, you could get a margin call and you would have to sell off stock to cover the money that you would owe uh, the loan that you took out to buy the stock in the first place. So um, a conservative way to do this is just buy stock whenever you have that, um, whenever you see this, when you're on personal. Uh, see, the parens mean you can buy it on margin. If it, the parens were not there, the parentheses, uh, it just says buy then you could click that and buy the stock outright. And then you don't have to worry about margin calls. If you keep doing that, I've been able to pretty easily get it up to, you know, like 10 million. Probably a better play, I might even be able to make the whole 20, but you know, you can see we blew it away, even though we're way in debt, way, way, way in debt. Um, but what we'd want to do, you know, just get some, just try to get this thing really rocking and rolling. Now, the one thing I didn't do that I really intended and th this works too, it works beautifully, is to have more of the longer lines. So like, um, you know, I was going to take each of these towns and match them up with a distant town and have one of those Eurostars running back and forth. And that works great. In fact, let's just see what happens. Let's just see, like, uh, this guy here was one of the lo little local line. He made eight million, um, whatever, Polish money is dollars really eight million dollars and you can see he would do 540 386 he was hanging in there let's just look at a different one that was that little Hamburg line look at that 6.6 .6 million two to three three hundred thousand a um, a year well it doesn't take very many of those to you know kind of end up making some pretty good money but I'm interested in seeing like our uranium guy, seven million. 
every other year he would make uh, a, a good haul. Uh, Frankfurt to St. Petersburg. Okay, look at this, 1.4 million. Oh, look at this, 877, 1.4 million. See, those long lines, they are what you want. They are what you want. That, that wasn't even a great, St. Petersburg to Frankfurt, uh, like a million a year kind of deal. Um, Berlin to Moscow, 1.5, look at, oh my goodness, 17 million, 1.5 million, 1.5, 1.6. So it's about one and a half million in profit, or revenue, sorry. Um, and over a million, well over a million in profit every year that that thing ran. So uh, that was that's the, really the way to go. My, my original plan was better than what I ended up doing because it would have been, um, like for example, there would have been a line say from Warsaw to some city way out here. And from bid goes to the city way out here. And then we would take them off the local service so they weren't competing for the passengers of the mail. So that would be something else to do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed playing. I think this one's uh, fairly hard. Um, the biggest thing that got me when I first started looking at it was just the uh, the whole deal with the uh, only 0.4 passengers. I was afraid we couldn't do a passenger solution. And I did mention also, you can really do well with a, um, if you want need more traffic out of your local thing, you can do a, a deal with like the food, as I mentioned in, in uh, part A of this, and with the steel and the autos and the uh, goods here. And then you could go into a new area. You could go down here to Germany and do the same, repeat. And look right here. Here's a great one right here. One, two, three. Uh, look at that. It gets two of them. We missed that one. But uh, you could run the chemicals to a fertilizer plant, fertilizer to to some farms if you could find some and run that back to food you know there's all kinds of things you can do if you need to generate but basically the easiest way to play this game of course is just to do those lines i also liked actually the single track it saved us a ton of money and, and allowed us to get out where we were trying to go faster and i think that was a good thing we only double tracked where we needed it and we single tracked you know all these little regional lines and the regional line here and this one train deal here and all that kind of stuff. All right, uh, that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe and join us for our next Railroad Tycoon 2 Platinum video. Thank you.